I'm gonna do a couple test runs for the dining table. I don't know what exactly I want to do just yet, but we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see what we can come up with and like what I want to go with, and then I'm gonna dabble into some of the decor outside and see if I have anything left to. Oh, also I was gonna look and see if I had any. I swear I think I have other plates, but I am losing my mind. I don't see them anywhere. And like one thing about me is I'm not getting rid of plates. That's why I have the old plates that I used to have. So I'm like so curious where the heck my other plates are. I could have sworn I had turkey ones. Where are my turkeys? I don't even know. You want to help me? Yeah. Okay. Let's take these off. Oh, mommy. First, I'm going to go get my Daddy. Let's see. Let's take this first. This oh, one. Daddy, get out the window. That looks cute. I'm just gonna finish a ball table that I've got going. I'm not obsessed with what I have right now, but I wanna kinda of put it together and just see what will happen. What is going on? I don't know what's happening. Um, but yeah, I'm going to um, put like the setting out and everything, and then I'm gonna sit on it. Like, should I bring the pot back here and then like put some more pumpkins? I'm gonna look at that, hold on. Because it makes my life a little bit easier. So the table setting, I think doing this is going to be the prettiest. And then what if we did, I also got navy um, cloth napkins. I thought this would be a fun little touch to make it look a little different. So all I decided to do this time was do this because it's kind of just like natural muted, love it. Gonna go with my same place, even though I can't find the freaking bur the turkeys. Alternate the salad plates every other plate, and then do navy blue. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea because you guys know how I do like the folded napkin situation. That could be pretty to like break this up. So basically, you take the cloth napkin. These are actually so pretty, and then you just place it. 
in the middle underneath the plate, tuck it underneath the plate, and it just adds a little, a little something. Let me show you. You see how it just kind of spices it up a little bit and it breaks up the pattern if you have the same plate and salad plates. That's normally why I like to mix these up. But if you have the same, this is a really pretty way to break it up, right? And it kind of makes it look a little bit more effortless. I like the blues, tying it with blues. Cute. What if I did something like that? Just like alternate it, the napkins, but then that kind of, does that look messy? We could also do it to where it's like you do these. Oh wait, what if we did? Ooh, that could be pretty, like alternating the napkins. Blue, that deep burgundy one when you're just alternating the napkins, which I actually really, really like. I think that looks really pretty. It's kind of, it's not too mixed up, but it's like spicing it up with the different napkin colors. And then this is another option with the plate. Okay, I'm liking the way this is turning out. I feel like, Filling out the plates, it helps me out just a little bit. And this is not for everybody, right? Like I, more is more for me. And I, when it comes to like wilderness vibes, which is kind of like how I've liked my Thanksgiving table to look the past couple years now, like not necessarily, necessarily wilderness, but like just effortlessly autumn. Like what do you, what, what inspires you about this is how I see it. What inspires you about autumn to do Thanksgiving in the cooler weather? Like, what is it that like just tickles your fancy? For me, it's like all the greenery, it's the browns, it's the flowers, it's the birds, you know? It's not this crooked tablecloth. Girl, straighten yourself out. You guys know how um, Kris Jenner has like that um, closet where all her like serving dishes are and stuff, like all her plates and things, that will be me. I definitely like the dry flower look more than I thought I would. I'm gonna try to clean up my mess so I can kind of get started on Halloween, but I'm also gonna figure out what to do with the rest of my dry flowers because there's a lot of dried flowers to go around and I could kind of spice up a few of my vases that I have like in my bookshelf, so I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Jump in? 
Okay, we made it to Jackson. We just got dressed to go to dinner, which we have about 15 minutes. So I figured I would show you guys a little condo tour. I don't know what it's called. It's a super spacious condo. You got the kitchen over here. What's over here? So it's an additional dwelling unit. You can actually shut that door you're walking through right now. Yeah. And there's two separate exterior. Bye, Maddie. We're leaving. Everyone's in here. The big living area. We have a little porch. Daddy. Daddy. This is the room we'll be sleeping in. Nice, spacious, has a really pretty view. All the colors look so pretty. And then um, that's the bathroom. Here's my outfit tonight. I just went really simple. I did an oversized sweater with some loose jeans, boots. These are our Tacovas, I believe. I am probably leaving marks on the because my Tacovas leave marks everywhere. I don't know why. So that's the room. Um, we had dinner reservations at 6.15, hopefully. Those two in there. Hopefully they do good. Hopefully. Mm, fingers crossed they haven't had a nap today or anything, but let me show you the outside and like the view, it's really pretty. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty. Gorgeous, with the side of screams in the background. Looks so cute. Come here. Dinner tonight is gonna be White Buffalo Club. Scheduled out a couple before we came here. Open table. What? Look at the top of it. The car. And the gray one. Is it good? There you go, I'm just flying. What is that? Salmon. It looks like it's a torpedo. It's it's the top filet. Oh. Slowly back away. You can't, baby. You see? Mason, let me see how fast you can run. And Mark is set to go. Lanny McQueen's going. He's going full speed. He hasn't even turned on his rocket boosters yet. He's not allowed to Lanny McQueen turns on his rocket boosters. But. The foot tracks we were following went a different way. Yeah. So we followed the foot tracks for a while, but then I started to get scared that like maybe they were gonna like take us in a direction we didn't want to head. Yeah. So that's why we just broke through her right foot dogs thing. Intertwined through these trees, and then we came out into this trail right here. But they seem so much taller and straighter. Like it was like a line. Do you remember? I, <laughs> the line of wood. It, it was the edge of the trail. So Davis and I. We actually First, been on this trail before, but it was when we were snowshoeing and everything was white. <laughs> we were the only people out here on this damn trail. It's peaceful, but I was like, I'm gonna get eaten by a bear. Um, but we've taken this hike before. We just went the opposite way this time. We went from where we ended last time, which I remember when we saw the like, because um, we were out here for a long time, I feel like. 
I mean, yeah, it was at some points the snow was to our waist. I remember seeing the cars and being like, oh my gosh, civilization. I never thought I'd see you again. How, how, how far is this hike? It's like that field, that field right there, it was like blizzarding when we walked through that field. The snow was to our waist. We probably spent 30, 45 minutes in that field yeah. in the snowshoes, and we just walked through it in maybe two minutes. Yeah. It was rough, but we did it. It was, it was an experience. I mean, that was my first time snowshoeing. It felt like we were in a movie, though, like some sort of like twilight wilderness well, and movie. Because when you're in the trees like this, too, and it's snowing, there's like no wind. It was dead silent. It was so quiet. It was kind of eerie, but it was pretty. I'm turning on my rockets and starting. All right, go as fast as you can through here. Yeah. You made your voice. But that's exactly. So there were no foot tracks this way. There were foot tracks this way. So we followed the foot tracks. And then when we realized we didn't want to go that way, we cut down into those woods. So just don't go that way if you're doing snowshoeing. <laughs> or, or do it. Like, and then if there's no snow, you, could, you, you can go that way and you hit Bradley Lake and then you can circle back to yeah. Taggart Lake. But we were just trying to do Taggart Lake. Wave to the camera, Maddie. Hmm. Good walking backwards, Mommy. Thanks. Evan, I w I'm actually going to learn how to ride a horse and be a real cowboy. You already know how to ride a horse, buddy. You've done it. But not when it's galloping. I was talking about if it, when it's galloping. Oh. All right, we all got sandwiches. Oh, no. I got the Wyatt, which is, I think, spicy something. Chips, milk, drinks all around. If I catch a trout today, you mean you're gonna eat it tonight for dinner? Is that a chipmunk up there? Yeah, I saw the chipmunk. fish. Got one.
get those. You earned it. You did that hike all by yourself yesterday. Wow. Yum. I'm proud of you. Why don't we do it on the buffalo? Yeah. That is me in the buffalo. <laughs> Thanks. What are you going to get? What are you going to get? Mm. What do you think, Maddie? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. What we got, Dada? Got green tomatoes and steak tacos. Mm. 